everybody good morning good afternoon good night whatever the time that you're watching this video from welcome back to my channel my name is agi thank you so much for clicking on this video today so if you have read the title of this video you guys know that you're going to do a kitchen makeover it's just it's not um i wouldn't say it's like a makeover but it's just an uplift uh, so that it looks better than it's looking now i initially did a kitchen makeover for the same kitchen a while back but now i lost all the footage and that was the time when i almost gave up on youtube i have the habit of recording and then i lose all the footage so nowadays i'm trying to record and then i try as much as possible to edit that video as soon as possible because most of the time if you leave it on your phone for too long you end up when you're deleting stuff to create more space you end up deleting also the important um stuff that uh are on your phone so i initially did the kitchen makeover it it didn't look like that initially because this house it's like those old houses like but what we love about this place is that it's very spacious we are very close to the road we have thought about moving out but we we have to live around where we live because of hubby's work so if we are to move it will probably mean that he got probably a new job and because i work from home so i can live anywhere so for him uh we love where we live because number one the house is spacious and number two we are very close to the road where we would like to move where we have looked and we've got houses that we would love are very far from the road and there's a lot of insecurity around that place if you're hearing a noise in the background probably is the matatus outside and also i'm doing laundry yeah so we would like to move but we have decided not to focus so much because initially i was so like i hated this it got to a point where i really hated this house but i was like i got to embrace what i have now kuna watu hata wana what i have so just if you are able to just renovate it do what as much as you can just to make your space more comfortable and i stop focusing on yeah yani kusema kila saa hii nyumba ina nudi hii nyumba ina nudi and just to make it nice and now it's looking better than it it used to look and we love this place because number one the house is very it's big if you nowadays uh, are house hunting you'll realize that most houses are built in a way that they are like that squeeze like zimefinyo finyo the bedrooms you can only fit a bed and nothing else so for us to <coughs> sorry for us to move it will mean like uh, probably work or something right now we are not moving we're just trying to make it better yeah so we're doing a kitchen uplift I, would, i wouldn't call it like a makeover makeover because we're not doing so much but we're just making it look better than it looks now so i am expecting some guy to come paint uh the kitchen for me i initially painted it but you know with the kitchen na mafuta and we don't have the hood uh on top of our cooker the walls do get so oily and dirty very fast so the guy is gonna come paint for me i could paint but i told myself the what i have the amount of work that i have now i i i I don't think I can paint. So the guy is going to come later. I'll be able to share with you guys and then I will see you guys probably probably after we have painted when I'll I'll now move on to the next step. So guys, keep on watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It takes so much time and energy to create content. So make sure that if you have enjoyed this video, like it, leave me a comment, let me know what you think okay guys and if you haven't watched our living room makeover video kindly go back and watch it yeah i'm sure you guys are going to enjoy it and you're going to be inspired okay yeah so let's get into it so i wanted to share with you how this kitchen initially looked when we first moved into this house this is one of my cleaning videos that i did back then and i hated this kitchen and i'm going to tell you why the first reason was the kitchen counter that kitchen counter was so annoying to scrub it all the time just to make it look clean it was so annoying and frustrating for me and i hated it the second thing i also hated was the wall paint and it had like this creamish color that didn't look clean to me i feel like most kitchens should just be black and white and that's it so that it looks nice and clean especially after you've done your cleaning i also hated the color of the cupboards they were old the the, the cupboard handles were like 
very very old style which i did not really like so i really hated how this kitchen looked and i initially gave it, gave it an uplift and this is how it looked uh, after i gave it like an uplift i remember telling you guys that i had made a video of this kitchen doing the makeover and then i lost the footage so what i did was to repaint it i removed the curtain box that was initially there there was an, a curtain box which i also hated so much i forgot about that so i removed the curtain box i painted all those cupboards uh white the kitchen cabinets i painted them white i also did a marble paper which uh was now worn out and that's one of the main reasons why i wanted to do like an uplift for this kitchen so i just wish i had shared with you that video then but i sort of lost the footage when I was doing the makeover and that kitchen counter was the most frustrating part for me as you can see uh it had like this really annoying color and that uh what do you call it uh terrazzo which i hate so much uh but after giving it an uplift it looked a little bit better and here i was just trying to show you guys how there was dust on the wall you know because of the oil a lot of dust gets to stick on the wall so it was so annoying and also uh through that wall you can see my pantry which we are also going to paint i don't know if i'll be able to share with you uh, guys that because that was just a by the way in case uh there is paint left so i had moved everything out of the kitchen the kitchen was empty uh, except the dispenser which had water it was so difficult to move it so we chose to just leave it there and just cover it uh, when the guy was going to do uh, the painting also i changed the uh, cabinet doors as you guys can see the ones that were there were so old school they were so old and so uh ugly so i also changed those ones those these ones usually cost just a hundred shillings from 80 to 100 it depends on the hardware so it was very easy for me to change that and also for this video i think i'm going to have to change the marble paper uh and also as you guys can see i do not have curtains i've not had curtains on this window for the longest time and i feel like sometimes when i want to do dishes late at night i usually feel I said I usually feel like someone is watching me so I'm going to have to get some cuttings for that window also a kitchen door was replaced as you guys can see it was replaced but it has it has never been painted ever since it was replaced so also that was making that kitchen look so ugly so i'm gonna have to paint also that kitchen door and i'll be able to share with you so this is how the kitchen looks at the moment we've removed everything from this kitchen we're just waiting for the guy to come and start painting on it I wish I had the same delusion that I do when I was two and didn't think that I could ruin anything at all. I could never fall. I wish I had that same conviction, convinced I never needed a fixing. Yeah, that girl really knew her business. Where did she go? Yeah, she thought she could do anything, thought she could get anything. As we finally finished with the painting as you guys can see it's looking better than before i know the camera is not doing justice as you can see it's already night so excuse also the dirty dishes i wasn't able to do the dishes because of the painting so tomorrow i'm gonna work on the countertop over there so i'm gonna cover it with uh, the the contact paper so that it looks better than it looks now because right now it's it's still not giving the vibe that i wanted to give so as you can see the cabinets are painted they look really better this is the dispenser we had to just cover it because of the painting and also because we couldn't move it with the water bottle still like three quarter way so we had to just cover it so that it does paint doesn't go onto it so yeah so right now as you guys can see it's late at night and i'm already tired because of the clinic you know because of the cleaning you know when you have uh fundies and painters in the house they were also making the toilet it had an issue so when you have fundies in the house it becomes like dirty so that's what i'm gonna i'm not gonna put anything back because i want the shelves to dry out completely yeah so right now what i'm gonna do is do dishes make dinner and then i'll see you guys tomorrow when we put the contact paper so like i said before also the pantry was painted and that is how it looks i feel like 
it's brighter and whiter than it looks on camera. I, I can guarantee you that. I don't know why it looks brownish on the camera, but it's very, very white and that's how I wanted it to be. So this is the kitchen under the shelf holder. I hope it's black. I was opting for, I was hoping that I was going to get a black one. I'm really hoping that it's going to be black. It's for, yeah. Oh my God, it's white but it's okay i think it's okay i was hoping that i was going to get a black one but i think even this white one is okay yeah so let's go and uh make over our kitchen let's go finish up with the marble paper so this is how it looks but it will do maybe next time i'll get a black one if i get someone who's selling a black one i'll probably get and then this one they'll i'll have like two a black and a white one two days later hey guys so today is another day so it's like two days later to another day it's like two days later we finished with the paint and the last time i saw you guys we were painting so we finished with the painting and i put back most of the stuff that are supposed to be in the kitchen and everything that is supposed to be in the pantry i've already put them back so what is left is the contact paper that's what i want to do today and probably the cutting so i was to start off by washing the window the glass but now one of the glass no two i think one yeah one of the glass was broken the glass on the window was broken so it had to be replaced so because of that that stuff that they put to hold the, the glass uh, if I wash it today, it's going to come out. So I have to wait for it to dry. So I don't think I'm going to wash that window today. I'll probably wash it probably next time. So for today, I'll have to put back, as you guys can see, my, my window has been open for the longest time possible. And uh, most of the time, I want to wash dishes probably late at night. And I usually feel a certain way when uh, i usually feel you know when someone is outside and you're inside and uh, it's dark outside you cannot see them but they can see you so i usually feel a certain way um when doing dishes probably late at night here so i wanted to put blinds at least kukwena that boundary even if someone is seeing you hakuoni poa so i wanted to put curtains and also just to make it look nice so i've already put back most of the stuff and what i want to do is put I think I'm going to take out everything that is on the kitchen counter. I'm going to take out everything and then put the contact paper. But first, I, I'll have to, I'll first have to wipe the curtain rods. I'll see which one to do first. So let's get into it because it's already 11. My kids went to school. It's already 11 and I should be done. Quaker contact paper is not an easy job. I did it before. And it was not easy so let's get into it so that we finish early because i also have other things that i need to take care of so so far this is how the kitchen is looking i've already put back most of the stuff there and the cupboards the cupboards i've already put back what is supposed to be in there so at my eyes i need to get uh, an egg rack for my eggs what i love most about this is this door it used to be any bare wood while well, you replaced the door but they did not paint it but now it's looking better so yeah so so far this is how it's looking so i want to clean the curtain rods over there and then also remove everything from the kitchen counter and then put the marble paper so that's what i need to do and also i was thinking of putting the contact paper on the table on that table and probably moving that table to this side i love we gas it will be the other side i'll just play around and see what works best because i don't know i'm just feeling like e gas enough there used to be a dispenser over here but we took it to the living room so at least there's more space so that's what i want to do so let's get into it yeah i hope it's going to look as I want it to look what I don't like about this house 
is this flaw like if there was anything pesa too eh? if i had money i would buy a kim kakambao and just put it on this floor to make it look you know better because i hate this floor and imagine every most of the houses that i've moved into usually do have this floor i don't know yeah so let me get into it i don't know whether i should put some music <laughs> let's see details i just wanted plain it's somehow matte black like it's not super shiny like the others that i was seeing and that's what i loved about this one so i think i'm just gonna put the contact paper on top of this yeah so i'm just going to put it on top of this one if there are any ends that are uneven that's what i'm going to probably remove and then just place this on top of this one so that i get like an extra smooth finish because you can see this this surface here it's not so smooth it's kind of rough so let me see let's do it and just get this thing done yeah i'm coming now yeah i'm coming now i'm gonna come out yeah i'm coming now yeah i'm coming now So guys, I really struggled uh, placing this contact paper. When I watch it on video, it looks like it was easy, but I struggled so much. It was not an easy job. You know, the surface that I was putting the contact paper on is not so smooth. So it was giving me a lot of air bubbles and also just making it to be straight. And, and I also realized that the contact paper that I got from Jumia, it was not the best. The one that I had, the white one that I'm placing this one on top had a better quality than the one, than this black one that I'm putting right now because it was tearing so easily. Like one wrong move and it was torn. I'm even thinking of uh, replacing it with something else. I haven't yet decided, but probably on our next video, you guys are going to be able to see because I sort of did not like it and also it got burnt. So in case you're buying contact paper from Jumia for, from wherever, kindly be very cautious because you'll end up spending 2500 and it will not serve its purpose because mine is already burnt already it's torn it keeps lifting it did not stick completely i tried blow drying it it's still lifting so i would really suggest that you be very cautious in case you're buying it but it looked really amazing at the end of it and i wish it was just the best quality of contact paper but things didn't go as planned but at the end of it you guys are just going to see it was still looking amazing it's still serving right now as i'm 
uh, doing this voiceover, I haven't removed it yet because I'm still thinking of a better option for it. Something that will last long, something that I don't have to do over again. there's only one corner there i want to move that table and then put for that corner and then we'll do the table i'll show you guys when i've finished everything let me just work on it because my battery is almost dead i'll put my phone to charge i'll put my phone to charge as i put in the rest of the places but if you take me rocks on my wrist for on my feet setting the table in all the sheet baby come eat i like luxury i like fancy things shine on my body live like royalty treat you like a king if i trust but you must be worthy of the crown i'm not just in I have finally finished with the marble paper that was a lot of work and it's not perfect as you guys can see there's still some a little bit of creases over here this marble paper that i use is not the same type that as the one that was here before so i guess it's of a different quality and it tears quite easily i have some left here in case i have a tear i'll be able to like repair wherever you make or yeah, whatever in Meraruka. So, so far, this side was is smooth and I love the outcome of this. And the only place that gave me a lot of trouble was this other side. But I will see what I will do with that with the remaining marble paper. And also the table, I've managed, eh, my hands are so dry now. I think it's from all that wallpaper and stuff. So, um, I've also managed to cover the table and this one. I'm going to put it down there. That's where I put the speakers that I use to listen to music when I'm cooking or doing the dishes. But so far, this is how it looks. And I think it's okay. This side is just perfect. I love it. Uh, it has, I wanted to show you guys uh, the 
that marble paper tears quite easily. You can see here, Kaliraruka, and also here, Pia Iliraruka, as I was trying to, but I'll try and see if I'll fix it with a cut piece that I'll just run from here down, and that's for another day. So right now, let me just stand on this other side and show you guys how it looks. So, so far, that is how it looks, and you guys can see. Of course, it looks better than it was before. So I want to sort of just wipe the top and then put back everything where it's supposed to be. And then I'll wipe the curtain rod, put the curtains, which I feel like I need to also iron. Yeah, so that's a lot of work. So by the way, I started putting the contact paper at around 11. It's now 1.50. So that's like roughly, I think, uh, probably two hours, two hours, 30 minutes, I think. So you can imagine, it's a lot of work. If you can have someone do it for you, kindly just let someone do it for you. For me, I like to, you know, experiment. I like to challenge myself. And so far, I like what I did. Probably I would have given it to someone who would have done something that I wouldn't like. So, yeah, so if you can have someone install it for you, kindly let them do it for you because... This work is not easy, especially if you have a surface that is rough to work with. You get a lot of air bubbles, a lot of creases, and it's so frustrating.
guys that will mark the end of our video i hope that you guys enjoyed it i hope that you learned something you know the reason for watching vlogs and videos from other content creators is to learn something i usually learn a lot so if you enjoyed today's video kindly um don't forget to like share subscribe kindly check take this minute to check and i want to thank you so much for watching up to up to this point thank you so much and i love you guys so much and let me know in the comments uh, what you think about our kitchen makeover or our kitchen uplift let me know what you think in the comments and i hope that i'll be able to see you on my next video goodbye for now you got to save yourself Every time I question what my future has in store